Okay, this question says x is a negative integer. x is negative, and there's my i for integer. Quantity a, we have 2 to the x. Quantity b, we have 3 to the x plus 1. What do we do? Well, we plug in numbers. I look over here, and I, I gravitate towards the, the negative 1 here, because I know if I pick negative 1 for x, it gives me 3 to the 0, which equals 1. That's just a nice number to work with. Uh, this side, 2 to the negative 1, basically means drop the 2 to the denominator, you get 1 half. And that's great, because 1 is greater than 1 half, and so you've established something, that b is greater in this case. And so, if that changes, then the answer is d. If you plug in different numbers and you notice that b, for some reason, it's always bigger, and maybe you can logically deduce that reason, then great, b is the answer. But let's see what happens. Let's plug in another number. What happens if we plug in negative 2? So I plug in negative 2 over here, so it's 2 to the negative 2, which is the same as flipping that over, making it the reciprocal, and that gives me 1 fourth. Here I put negative 2, which is 3 to the negative 1. That gives me 1 third. So what do you notice here? Well, it's still bigger. One third is greater than one fourth. And so the question with these problems that maybe many students ask is when do you know when to stop plugging in? And I say, well, usually there's a pattern. And I sometimes compare the, the difference, not difference in terms of subtraction, but how much greater is one number than the other, meaning, well, half times two gives me one. So you can see, wow, B is way bigger. It's twice as big. But here, well, twice of one fourth would be one half, and B isn't quite that, it's one third, so something's going on. So let's plug in another number. Let's plug in negative three right here. That gives me three to the negative two, which is one ninth, so I'm gonna drop one ninth up here. And again, I'm plugging in negative three here, that gives me one eighth. Now you say, oh yeah, one ninth is bigger, but wait a second. The bigger the number in the denominator, the smaller the number. One eighth is actually bigger than one ninth, and it, it's flipped there. And as soon as it flips, you know the answer is D.